Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE12933 here, and in today's combination CCNA and CCNP switch exam three minute tutorial, we're going to take a look at static and dynamic VLANs and clear up a little bit of confusion because one of these might not be quite what you think. And if this is the first time that you've even heard a discussion of dynamic VLANs, that's perfectly fine. Hang in there because you need to see this little bit of a difference in terminology that I'm going to discuss with you in just a moment. One of the many things that I've always enjoyed about working with Cisco routers and switches as opposed to certain other vendors, if you forget something or you need, say, a certain protocol activated or a certain feature to get something else to work, you're likely to get a gentle reminder. And let's actually see that in action here on live equipment. And you can see I've run show VLAN brief just to show that we've got all the usual default settings but nothing else. So let's go ahead and place port fast ethernet 02, 0 slash 2, into VLAN 2. And let's see what happens if I try to put it into a VLAN that does not exist. And even if you know what happens here, hang with this video. Switch port mode access, we'll make it an access port. VLAN 2. So we do the usual two commands. First we made the port an access port, which means it belongs to one VLAN and one VLAN only. Then we actually assigned it to VLAN 2. Now we got a great message here, I really like this. Access VLAN does not exist. And then it goes on to create it for you. So that's a pretty good deal. So let's just verify that. Show VLAN brief and you can see there's VLAN 2 and it is active and there's the port that we put into it. Now, even though that VLAN was dynamically created, it is not a dynamic VLAN. And I know that sounds a little crazy, especially at first, you know, when you first look at it, you're like, oh, what? Uh, so let me go over that one more time and then I'll show you exactly what I mean. Even though this VLAN was dynamically created, that does not make it a dynamic VLAN. And let me show you exactly why, because the terminology is a little bit different here. The terms static and dynamic, when you're talking about VLANs, they do not refer to how the VLAN was created. Very important difference there. Instead, what the terms refer to is the method of assigning hosts to those VLANs. And I can hear the light bulb going off a little bit if this is the first time you've seen it. Because, of course, you think that's a dynamic VLAN because it was created dynamically. But, again, that refers to how we assign hosts to the VLANs, not how the VLAN was actually created. Now, static VLANs is a per-port assignment, and that's what we just looked at right here. Because we took this particular port and assigned it to a VLAN. That means that this is a static VLAN assignment. Now when it comes to dynamic VLANs, what we're doing there is assigning hosts to a VLAN according to the MAC address of the host itself. It doesn't have anything to do with the MAC address of the switch. And that's yet another reason, and I know those of you who got your CCNA with me, you're saying there he goes about that source MAC address again. But it's very important, the switch looks at the source MAC address of incoming frames before anything else, and that's a big reason why, another reason why actually, port security is another reason that it's always going to look at that source MAC address, is that if you're using dynamic VLANs, that's how the host is assigned to the VLAN in the first place. We get this done through use of a VMPS, a VLAN Membership Policy Server. That's how we get dynamic VLAN assignments done. You'll be very disappointed to know, sarcasm off, that the actual configuration of a VMPS is beyond the scope of the CCNP switch exam. You're not going to see the config on the NA either, but I think it's a good thing for a CCNA to know, because if you go into a job interview and you don't know what a dynamic VLAN is, uh, that could hurt you, but now you definitely know it again. Very important difference here, and I'll bring it up on the screen again as we conclude. The terms static and dynamic don't refer to how you create the VLAN. It refers to how you assign hosts to those VLANs. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, CCIE12933, because we've got almost 100 videos lined up just for the CCNP exams in the next couple of months. Thanks again for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE12933.